All right, now uh, cholesterol is just half of the heart disease story. The other half is inflammation. Right? We've known for 15 years that a single meal high in animal fat, uh, sausage and egg McMuffin was used in the original study, can paralyze our arteries, right? cutting their ability to relax normally in half within hours of eating animal products. The whole lining of our vascular tree gets inflamed and stiffened. Right? And just as that inflammation, so here's hours, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Just as that inflammation, right? Just as that crippling of our arteries starts to finally calm down after five or six hours, lunchtime, <laughs> right? And then we may whack our arteries with another load of meat, eggs, or dairy, right? And so most people are in this chronic state of low-grade inflammation, increasing risk for these inflammation-related diseases like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, um, one meal at a time. Does the same thing to our lungs. Right? Again, within hours, inflammation in our airways. A single meal causing internal damage, not just years down the road, but literally right then and there, that day, within hours of it going into your mouth. And just this year, we finally figured out, we finally solved the mystery as to why. And it doesn't appear to be the animal fat itself. And it's apparently not the animal protein, which is what's implicated in, in the inflammation from arthritis. Right? So if it's not the animal fat, it's not the animal protein, uh, what is it? The whole thing is a crazy cool detective story that I'll be putting in a series of videos uh, next week actually, July 4th, July 5th, July 6th. Um, but uh, I'll just cut to the chase, spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> after a meal of animal products, people suffer from endotoxemia. Their bloodstream becomes awash with bacterial toxins, known as endotoxins, that are present in the animal products. So, I mean, no wonder our body goes crazy. These dead meat bacteria toxins aren't destroyed by stomach acid, aren't destroyed by pancreatic enzymes, right? Aren't destroyed by cooking. They tried boiling meat for hours, still didn't work. And so um, these bacterial toxins were found to be highly resistant to cooking and our body's best attempts at acid and enzyme um, digestion. Now, the animal fat actually does play a profound role in this whole process by ferrying the bacterial toxins present in the meat through the gut into our system. So the reason animal products trigger immediate inflammation appears to be because they're so loaded with bacteria that can trigger inflammation dead or alive, even if they're fully cooked. And then saturated animal fat then boosts the absorption of these toxins into our bloodstream. So now that we know what's going on, what do we have to do? Well, from a 2012 follow-up, uh, well, the obvious, most obvious solution to this metabolic endotoxemia, okay, well, we can reduce saturated fat intake, which in this country is mostly uh, cheese and chicken, but the Western diet is not conducive to this mode of action, and it is difficult for patients to comply with this request. So what, let's not even tell them, right? I mean, this patronizing attitude in the medical profession of, oh, patients won't change their diet or stop smoking, I mean, even if it's gonna kill them, you know, so why bother, right? That attitude may be one of the real leading causes of death. But let's get back.